it is fantastic. I mean, I wish every teacher, I wish we could bring the students through that they could actually go through and do this because this has been, this is one of the best workshops I think I've attended in 25 years. <laughs> and that's exactly what we wanted to hear. Hi, I'm Clifton Van. My company, Livingston and Haven, along with Siemens, Duke Energy, Piedmont Natural Gas, Areva, Coca-Cola Consolidated, and Central Piedmont Community College sponsored a two-week science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM, workshop for 23 teachers in the Charlotte-Mecklenburg school system. Our goal was to open the eyes of these teachers, have them see the practical applications of what they were teaching, put those lessons in context. Why? Because we felt it was important for businesses to participate in the education process. After all, we are the end users. And frankly, many businesses today are not getting employable graduates, whether they're from high school or community college or four-year colleges and universities. Pam Housie, who spearheaded the workshop at Siemens, probably said it best. We don't have a right as private employers to complain about the quality of students that we're getting out of the educational system. If we're not willing to get off the sidelines, roll up our sleeves, get dirty, and help solve the problem. The Charlotte school system was well aware of the problem, and they got us all interested in this project about a year ago. STEM immersion was created to make a link between what students are learning in the classroom and what is expected on the workforce in many of our STEM related businesses in the Charlotte area. We're asking teachers this week to look around as they visit each of the venues and see what foundation that they are creating in the classroom, whether it be in science or math, engineering, or any of the technical subjects. We want them to be able to recognize items that they're teaching and saying, yes, this is the foundation I'm laying for these students to be able to go on to these technical related skills. The other business participants in this program each had specific reasons for participating, but you'll see there's a common thread amongst all of us. One of the things that we're, we're looking at as far as an industry and a lot of industries in the, in the Carolinas is an aging workforce and so what we're trying to do is help the teachers have the tools to educate the individuals coming up through the high schools, actually starting in elementary schools. Piedmont, even though we are not a manufacturing company, we do use a lot of science. We're big in technology. We have a, a big presence with engineering and mathematics. We think the job they're doing is real important and that we think we have a role in making them successful because we need a skilled workforce now and even more so in the future. We have many positions and many jobs here that need students who have learned science, mathematics, and engineering in order to uh, help us with our productivity and with our business. We are hoping to expose local instructors to the quality programs that Central Piedmont Community College offers. We find that local businesses are very familiar with the technical programs and the, 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 the need for having these programs in the local community. We're, we're also finding that the local teachers in the high schools aren't quite familiar with what we offer. So the teachers got to see firsthand jobs and careers that most didn't even know existed and got to hear us folks in the business talk about misconception of no jobs. There are thousands, in fact 3.5 million jobs available today in the United States that are going unfilled because people don't have the education, the right skills and training, and the trainers, the teachers, need to get real world educated so they can apply these talents to these kids so they're ready to go to work when they come out school. The two weeks for me was just encouraging to know that business still cares um, and that these companies want us to help them, that they need our help and um, that they do value what we do. It's, um, it's one thing to say here's some money, um, good luck, but to actually take time out of their schedule and have tours and um, you know that shows that they really do want to work with us and they really do think that education is important. And, and Matthew's response was typical of the responses of all the teachers. In fact, this should be the takeaway for all of us. Anyone thinking about doing a STEM workshop, money is really the easy way out. What our educators need today is a commitment of our time, energy, and intellectual property. Was this a great experience? Absolutely. I'm just overwhelmed, and I, I've even asked already, when you get a new group of people, can you keep the group, this original group, in the loop? I have a whole different perspective on what Charlotte has to offer. To, to my students and their families. Um, I feel like I'm a resource for, for my community that I wouldn't have been otherwise 
because I had no reason to know that this was here and I just feel very, very lucky to have been part of this. I thought it was great. It really, really gave us an in-depth view of the companies, what they did, uh, the knowledge required to do it. At the end of two weeks, we had all the teachers in a room and we got to ask them, each one individually, if there was one thing, one aha moment, one impactful thing you could take away from this, what was it? When I think about them, I think I could have told them, you can do this, because they're really smart. They're not going to go to college or they, they, they don't belong going yet because they're just going to waste their money because they don't know what they do. Or they're going to get to year four and be like, well, here's my paper. I did great. I don't know what to do with it. So yeah, those kids who really... And I, every place I've been, like, I could, ugh, this is like middle age, sorry. <laughs> but, you know, that I could have told them about these things and had a better quite answer for why would I do this. I have absolutely filled my notebook with um, just real world, real world applications of all these ridiculous concepts that I am expected to teach my children and just, just being able to put that into context for them. I can teach with a greater passion because I know what I'm talking about. This two-week program was in the making for close to a year. We started with just an idea, so it took longer to get focused and get a game plan together. We now have the template. Next year's program will be quicker to organize, more efficient. We have a good handle on what works and what doesn't work. Each business invested some money in food. Breakfast and lunches were provided. Most places had some free stuff for the teachers. We gave them a gift card to use at a supply store. So our out-of-pocket costs were about $2,000 for each business that participated. But again, the biggest commitment was time. Each stop along the way, employees of the companies were asked to spend time explaining their jobs and how STEM education fit into their job. You heard teachers sing the praises of this workshop, and if we were to interview the businesses who participated, you'd hear the same enthusiasm. Are we going to do it again? Absolutely. We wanted to get bigger and better with more teachers and more companies committed to helping education become more relevant. Clifton Jones, a middle school teacher at Northridge, we're going to let him wrap up this story. I've also learned that there are a lot of companies out here that want education to be very successful. And I do believe that's why they did this uh, two weeks, so that they can inform us of what they need. And I am really so appreciative of what they have done for us.